Adventurer, don't look so smug. While you presumably did admirably in collecting the lettuce and potatoes, I think we both know that those two do not a meal make. No, no, no. You need some variety. How about strawberries and clams? Those sound sufficiently exotic. Are you at least level 15 to 25 yet? You'd better be for this. Let's go find us some strawberries. For the first batch of patches, you'll want to head to the easily accessible Nolan Waypoint in the southwestern corner of the Disa Plateau. That's right outside the Black Citadel. Once there, head through the town of Nolan toward that little back corner in the southwest where they seem to toss all their junk. Yes. Yes, that's the one. Don't mind the char cubs and their silly superstitions. They're wrong. Now you'll have to put your jumping boots on to traverse the messy mound of mechanics and once at the top, enter the slightly hidden romantically lit rusty old sewage pipe of sorts to make your way to your final destination. Ah, beautiful. Anya up there is the keeper of the garden and while she did ask me not to tell you, I decided to take a few liberties. She'll understand. She probably didn't even really mean it. You know how girls are. For the next farm, we're heading to the Snowden Drifts. Ah oh, yes, the Norn again. Once in the zone, head to the Reaver's Waypoint. Bottom right. From there, take a stroll down to the southwest through the winding canyons to Griffinfall. Now, given the name, I think you ought to know what to expect here. Owl Griffins. Lots of them. You may well also run into a couple of Alpine Skelks or Sons of Svanir, but not in numbers as great as those of the Griffins. Battle your way through the avian and other menaces like a true adventurer. Round the bend and at the end, head up the slope to claim your prize. In the form of strawberries. Over in the Kessex Hills, you'll want to start at the Suraboth Waypoint, in the somewhat southeastern part of the zone. From there, head southwest through a part of the Suraboth Canyon I like to call Itten Canyon. Care to guess why, adventurer? Absolutely right. Ittens infest the area. Dangerous, to be sure, but with a little bobbin and weaving and fancy footwork, you could make your way past a lot of them undetected. Although going fisticuff style with an itten really is quite adventurous, and I would heartily recommend it. Once you make it, you'll be treated to strawberries aplenty, a view well worth seeing, and even an opportunity to do a little dive in. Take the opportunity and make the best of it. Ah, the shellfish. If you're after clams, then there really is only one option. Head to the Brisbane Wildlands and find the Mrotburu Waypoint in the south. From there, head down the gentle slope to the northeast into the Venlin Vale. Go. Go there now, and as you do, appreciate the non-hostile wildlife of the area. Fireflies, sea moths, and moas. For they truly are a pleasure compared to the Hylek tribes and scale calling the shores and waters of the Venlin Vale their home and hunting grounds. Along the riverbed lies what you seek. These, unlike those we've collected before, are spread a little thinner and will require some nautical navigation to procure. Not a problem. That's it. That's all of them. Remember, adventurer, you can gather these every single day and even have a chance of finding unidentified dyes and other goodies while doing so. Also, don't forget those iron or better tools. Most importantly, though, happy adventuring in Guild Wars 2. And going fisticuff style with Ettens. That too. Happy that.